So this is the steam boiler, gas, gas steam boiler. We have the header, 32 inches uh, in horizontal. And also a few components here. This is making model. It's automatic ignition. That's the ignition control and the gas valve. Then we come here to side glass where we can see the level of the water. Right now the boiler is already warmed up. And here is the pressure gauge. That shows right about four pounds it's cutting off. It's, it's actually it's turning off and then coming back on at two pounds, maybe a pound. I have to watch closely. Uh, this is here the low water cutoff, which I already tested and works because once I drain the water all the way down, um, that shut the boiler off. So the automatic, it's low water cutoff works. And here is the pressure troll. The pressure troll is set. Uh, that's what the settings are here. The boiler setup has to be exactly what we see, otherwise it would not work. All the dimensions here, the vertical and horizontal, are very important. And automatic uh, water feed. It is a two inch pipe. Comes out, has to be two inch, you can't lower that dimension, it has to be exactly set up as it is. And it is actually two pipe steam because we get one pipe out and then the other pipe comes down right here and goes to the bottom of the board. That's the lowest point. It has to be the lowest point. It goes all the way to that direction and all the way and it comes to the boiler this way. As soon as the pressure drops about, I guess it's two pounds, I think. Then it comes on. And, uh, and it's working fine. Here is the automatic vent damper, also operational. Yeah, this was just a quick overview how a steam boiler has to be set up to work uh, properly. Thanks for watching.